Welcome back to the Delaware Standard Bread Owners Association Awards Gala as we celebrate some of our star standard breads from the past season. Let's head to Harrington Raceway now and see who our leaders were for 2023. First, let's check out the claimer of the meet as honored by the DSOA. They come over toward the top of the stretch, that position with the big lead, Reverie is there, coming alongside of Reverie is Silver Fox Jay, they're at the top of the stretch, and it's a huge lead for Declan Sealster as they come toward the wire. Declan Sealster's in front, Silver Fox Jay trying to get second, they come to the wire, Declan Sealster by five or six. It was Declan Sealster, owned by J&T Davis, LLC. The pacer, trained by Tyler Davis, had 20 starts at the meet with seven wins, four seconds, and four thirds. Declan Sealster won over $83,000 during the meet at the half mile. And at this fabulous banquet, the award was presented by the DSOA second vice president, George Teague Jr. Well, I mean, yeah, he was a nice horse to be around. I mean, clearly, you know, he went a bunch of races for me. Um, I don't know, just his attitude probably, you know, a, a, any, a kid could take care of him. Nice in the barn, good on the track. I'm pretty sure it's not, I'm pretty sure these two rode with me when I jogged him. You know, he was just good to be around. He was more kind of mellow and laid back, you know, at the track at the barn. It didn't really make a difference with him. You know, he just, he was, you know, he was a kind of really a special horse. Just, you know, he had his own attitude. I'm probably at this point in time, I probably got about, I would say 18 to 20. I got about a barn full, you know, a lot of work. A lot of people would say too many, but you know, as long as they're all making money, it's worth it. Uh, after these two, Jackson and Taryn. So that's my state when he named after the kids. Now let's take a look at the 2023 Trotter of the Meat at Harrington Raceway. They're at the top of the stretch turning for home, Remarkable to V. 50 ways, tries to get up into second, followed by Lizzie Lomont. They straighten away, and it's Remarkable V trying to get there. They come toward the wire. Remarkable V is going to get there. Wins it fairly easy, in fact. Remarkable V, owned by TLB Racing LLC, took home the honor for this award with 14 starts, five wins, four seconds, and one third. The high stepper, who is trained by Tracy Berry and driven by her husband, Pat, earned over $92,000 at Harrington, and DSOA director Vic Kirby presented this award to the connections, including caretaker Michaela Schock. Remarkable is like a super goofy horse, and he's not your normal racehorse. He has, I mean, all horses have personalities, but Remarkable has a phenomenal personality. He's just like so in tune with you. Um, Remarkable tries his hardest all the time, and that's what I love about him. He's just so special to the stable, I don't know. He's just, he's one of a kind. At the track, he's a little wild. He's known for his little wild side. He throws tantrums, but he is, um, he has his game face on. <laughs> that's, that's all I can say is he's uh, very ready at the track. I've taken care of Remarkable for about three and a half, four years now. Um, he, you have to learn his antics and his, he loves routine. Um, if you're not on his routine, he will throw you for a loop. But if you are on his routine, then he is very willing to work with you. Um, he's just very special. He's a loner, he doesn't like friends. Um, but he likes his humans, so that is awesome. Um, he loves treats, but he's a food fanatic. Like, as long as you feed him, he's happy. So uh, when he's upset, we just throw him a flake of hay and he's okay. <laughs> so he's a tower. We never hook him. We never put a harness on him. He's very happy towing and he trains on the tow. And when we do have to train him, he's a handful. So we really try to keep him on the tow regiment. Right now he's swimming from a rehab. Um, that took him a while to learn because he's very strict on his regiment, and that wasn't in his regiment. But he, he's a tower. He is not a hooker. But when we do hook him, he is a wild chow. <laughs> and our final award from the Harrington Raceway 2023 season is for Pacer of the Meat. 
And from the outside, Live Love Lindy up after lead, following it somewhere rocking. Dropping back, I'm going to stay with Genius a bit. They come through the stretch. Live Love Lindy, somewhere rocking, coming on the outside. They come toward the wire. Live Love Lindy's got it. It was Live Love Lindy, owned by Carolyn and Toby Lynch Jr. with 18 starts, 6 wins, 4 seconds, and 4 thirds, earning this top honor. The Pacer is also trained by Toby Lynch Jr. and bankrolled almost $68,000 at the half mile in 2023. The DSOA's first vice president, George Dennis, was the presenter of this special equine honor. He's just, he tries hard. He's got some good speeds, good gated. Uh, the downfall with him is he doesn't let me drive sometimes. He was a little bit bullheaded. He likes to drive himself, so that's his only downfall. I bought him last year, um, I think it was around October maybe, and I turned him out for a couple months. And then uh, I started back with him and just brought him back this year. So it's probably been a year now. He's a little more fired up at the track. He, you can't leave him alone by himself. He starts jumping up and down, tearing things up. But as long as somebody stays with him, he's okay. Yeah, he's still racing. He raced last night, uh, finished fifth, tried hard, but he's racing against older horses now, and it's a big step up for a young horse. And Congrats to all of our Harrington Raceway DSOA award winners.